What's up, everybody? Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Elite Dangerous. Um, when we left off in the last episode, well, I shouldn't say the last episode. It was the last section of the live stream footage, actually. Um, it was actually the last time I played it. I know there was a couple of community goals that were up for um, bounty hunting, which I really thought about getting involved in, and I actually got, you, some of you might recognize Thielport here is where one of the, uh, one of the bounties was, or one of the, excuse me, community goals, but when I got here, it took forever to get here, by the way. Uh, when I got here, though, I don't know, it just, like, I checked the community goal page, and it was only, it wasn't even up to the first tier. I don't know if that was a glitch, or if just no one got to this one, and I just happened to get the luck of the draw where this was the the one area that nobody had really done anything on. Um, I know they've had glitches before, though, in that type of manner. So, uh, but anyways, it took me so long to get here <laughs> that, um... I kind of was like, blah, I just don't feel like doing it. And then when I saw that the tier one hadn't even been met, I was like, screw it, I don't even care. And I was putting a lot, I've been putting a ton of time into Batman Arkham Knight. Um, because I've been trying to get uh, through all the Riddler stuff and everything to be able to show you guys the Nightfall ending. Um, so I've been spending a lot of my time there, so I didn't really have a whole lot of time to do like grind play type thing and so I was just like bleh. and it only had like a few hours by the time I got over here anyway it had like another day or something and I was like nah, I don't really feel like messing with it so I didn't uh, but we're here which is some semi unfortunate but what I'm gonna do is um, still kind of active in power play um, and according to the um, According to the, uh, whatever, the Reddit thread, subthread, subreddit, whatever it's called, um, the closest place for me to undermine is San Mus. San Mus, I guess. Which we're not at the goal yet, so that's a good thing. Um, so it's going to take us out a little ways. Let me check and see what this one is. Okay, you are not refuelable. Wow, you aren't either. Okay. Uh, how about you? Okay, so I'll have to go here, fuel scoop, and then finish the, the jumps, basically. But it's not too far away. Um, it's not telling me. I have a course plotted. I don't know why it's not telling me. There we go. Um, so 18 jumps in total. Wait a minute. That's not economic. Or that's that's fastest. That's not economic route. Hold on. Um, actually, I'm not going to do that yet. Because I'm going to change up the weight on my ship anyway. So it kind of dawned on me. Um, since we're going to be out in um, enemy territory, essentially. That I can get pulled over, I, or interdicted, whatever you want to call it. I can get... I'll have a bounty for taking out the uh, Kumo Crew territory transports and stuff. So I'm going to be getting a bounty anyway. So my thought process is I might as well rig up my ship to do be able to do some piracy. Right? Fight pirates with pirates? Something like that? I have not been using my frameshift scanner that much. Uh, kill warrant scanner I use all the time, but the wake scanner... If somebody jumps, I'm not really following them, pretty much. So what I'm going to do is swap this out for a cargo scanner. And since they're both E-0s, it doesn't really matter. I will have to change up my um, fire groups, though. So now we can scan for cargo and see if there's anything we want. Um, we also need to add a hatch limpet. And currently, they only have, I think this one. I've checked a bunch of times and they have um, like if I go to module type you've got all these different hull reinforcement ones and refineries fuel scoops and prospector limpets but when you get to the hatch breaker one there's only one. So it sucks but you know whatever. Um, this doesn't raise our power too too much. Um we will have to be a little careful if our shields go down that we're losing one hull reinforcement package, though I've been told they don't really do too, too much. Like, 
Um, some have actually told me that it's not really worth having them. They just weigh your ship down. So I don't know. But that's really all we need for pirate stuff. We've got a class uh, 16 ton cargo rack. So that should be enough for now. Um, I could, I suppose... What is the cur What are the other cargo racks we've got? I could put an 8 in this slot, but eh, I'm going to leave that one hull reinforcement, I think, just in case our shields get kicked down. Um, I'm keeping my interdictor and my warrant scanner so we can still do stuff like that, so we're not really losing our ability to be a bounty hunter. Um, I also wanted... I had an idea to change up my fire groups a little bit. I wish there was a simple clear button, but there's not. So this one is going to be our, um, whatchamacallit. Oops, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Um, might as well start over, I guess. So this one is going to be our, um, super cruise one. So what I need is the frameshift drive interdictor and the cargo scanner. Now I don't know if the cargo scanner will work in Super Cruise. If it will, then we'll, we'll use it. If not, we'll change up this. Because um, I know the warrant scanner won't work. Uh, Alright. So now we have our primary one, which is going to be warrant scanner. We'll put that on cargo scanner just in case it doesn't work. We'll leave the frame shift one off. And then we'll do our combat one, uh, which is all ones, and then shield cells. And I don't know... I might just make one for duality, just in, just in case. But I don't know if I'll actually need that or not. Now, what I want to do is set up a... Nope. A point... Or, excuse me, not a point, a, um, a, a route. I need to set up a route now, just in case. I don't know if it actually did change my weight at all. Taking the, um, uh, taking the hull package off. And we need to set this to fastest. Alright. Now that is interesting. We lose way more fuel doing that, so maybe we won't do that. Maybe I'll just take a few more jumps. Yeah, that's probably the better option, really. In the long run, it'll save us a bit more time. Um, and this one we said was scoopable, yes. So I need to stop at HR 7907, and then we'll head into San Mus. And when we get there, I'm going to look for the um, obviously the main power play ships, but if I see regular haulers or something, I also want to scan them and see what they have. So I'm going to head that way, and I will meet you guys there. Alright. So we're here in... Oh gosh, what was the name of this place again? Sun... Sunmus? Something like that? Sanmus. Sanmus. Something. Um, I stopped in at the station to refuel and get kind of squared away. Uh, we are in hostile territory, though, so we do need to be careful about that. Um, in terms of being able to be interdicted even without a bounty or anything. So that's something I gotta watch. Wait, I thought I refueled. Did I not refuel? <laughs> I must have forgot. <sighs> so, what actually happened was it took so long to get here. It took me probably about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that. That, um... I actually, like, kind of took a break and... So I thought I had turned. I thought I had refueled. I guess I didn't. It's not that big a deal. It's just funny. Um, and it looks like the wait. That's the hatchbreaker. So it doesn't look like the um, ooh, 
the cargo scanner actually works. Oh, now here's an interesting situation. We have the crew transport. It's in a wing, but it's also a cargo ship. And how is that out of range? It's 0.3. I still don't quite get that about the interdictors. It's never quite made sense to me. Like, I'm definitely aligned properly. But I guess there's a minimum distance. Because I kind of feel like it shouldn't be out of range. You know what I mean? Like, that seems... Why can I not interdict this guy? <laughs> I, I know my hard points are deployed, too. Oh, there we go. Wait, no, that's me. I'm being interdicted. What? What is happening right now that makes this make sense? That's what I want to know. He's getting away! Man. Jerk. Come on, break it. Thank you. Seriously, though. Why? How did he get away? Like, it literally would not let me interdict that guy. And it's even set up to be on the primary. I don't understand that. There must be some kind of minimum... No? I would go with the minimum range theory, except for the fact that he got really far away. And it still wasn't letting letting me grab him. That's really weird. Unless there's like a speed distance? Or like a speed minimum, maybe? I don't know. That's weird. I have not mastered interdicting. I, I will admit that. That's for darn sure. What is this guy doing, by the way? Is anyone else seeing this, <laughs> like, target that's just spinning? That's another one of the- oh, we got two of them. <laughs> what is that? What is that? It looks like, uh, what is it? Electrons and neutrons spinning around a nucleus? <laughs> Like, it looks like an atom. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I mean, there's not enough of them, obviously. But, well, I don't know. I don't know much that much about atoms. I think there's a minimum number that you have to have, but I don't remember. Okay. So, a couple of things. First of all... Now I have a cargo scanner, so we're going to scan him. Just because I can. Not that it really matters, but I kind of feel like it. Uh, let's see. How do I want to handle this? Oh, you know what I didn't set up? Wait, it's out of range. Where is the... <laughs> Hold on. I don't think I added the limpet to anything. I did not. Wow. Wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's bad. Okay. I don't know how close I have to be, though. It's pretty close, I thought. Maybe. I don't know. I wonder if there's an angle that ha factors in it all. Whoop! Like with the interdictors, I wonder if you have to... Keeps just saying out of range. Eh, whatever. I'm not that worried about it anyway, because they don't usually have anything good. I'm under attack. Oh, I guess he's fighting back. That's cute. Oh no, it's the it's the escort. I didn't see it blinking. Seriously, 
Oh, I hate this when some small little ship is like moving too slow and I can't get around them. It's so aggravating. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you done? Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Oh, wait! Where is he? Oh, the other guy just straight dipped. Huh. <laughs> Good job there. What's that put us at? 30? Sweet. Um, so yeah. I need to change this up a bit. Uh, we don't need the scanners to be separate, really. Oh, wait. Let's turn that one off. Um, and then we'll do shield cells. Make this one too. Excuse me. Let me get rid of these. There we go. Yeah, I know it said there was a minimum distance on the um, hatchbreaker. I wonder if I have to sub-target the cargo hatch. That might be a thing too. I'm thinking that might be part of the problem because it has to actually lock. I don't know. I don't know. That was weird. It, like, wouldn't do anything. Oh, wait a minute. It says out of ammo over here. It, before it said... Before it said it wasn't um, in range, this says out of ammo. Well, that's crap. I thought it came with ammo. Batteries are not included, apparently. So, that sucks. Yeah, no. Oop, there we go, that's better. Wait, why isn't it showing my interdictor? There we go. Yeah, so I must have been on the wrong tab. Yeah, wait, now that says out of range. Hatchbreaker out of range. The one set out of ammo, didn't it? I'm very confused now. Wow, there's a lot of these guys, huh? Didn't we just see it? Wait, where did where did the other one go? We just saw another of the Kumo crew transport. That's so weird. Yeah, so I don't know if I have ammo or not, to be honest. Um, the limpet thing I'm still getting used to, and it still confuses me slightly. Um, wow, is this guy like Doctor? What is going on here? Come on now. Why am I... It's not even bringing up the get behind them or whatever. Like, it's just not interdicting anybody at this range. This is so weird. And it even says out of range. I'm very confused by that. <sighs> Alright, so I'm spamming the button. And I'm still not getting anything. So there's got to be some kind of speed restriction or something... Because I'm definitely behind him. It's not even saying get behind him. So the al alignment's fine. And we're... I gotta clock it. See where it actually grabs him at. Because that's just weird. Or, there ha or they might have to be in a certain gravity range, like, not within the gravity field of a station or something. Yeah, see, that was... That doesn't make any sense. I need to get a better interdictor, I think. Is 
Seriously? Seriously? This is this is not working? Are you kidding? Why is it going down? I'm I'm holding at least two of the rings. Oh my gosh. Are you joking me right now? This thing is all over the place. Just stop. Right there. I don't know how he's winning this. That's ridiculous. How in the world does that even happen? I wasn't even off point that much. That's dumb. I mean, you guys have seen me do interdictions before. That looked very similar to the way I always grab crap people. That makes no sense. Dude, this game is kind of freaking me out right now. I don't know if it's just me or if it's being glitchy. It could just be me. I'm in a weird mood. I'm very tired. It's late. And I kind of forgot I had to record this. <laughs> and then I was like, oh yeah. I don't have an episode done, do I? So, yeah. It's very late and I'm kind of loopy. So I apologize if that's annoying or whatever. I just... I don't understand. Like, when you do the same thing that you always do, you would kind of expect it to work. I mean, at least I do. It might be weird, but I usually tend to expect things to work. When I've done them before. And the past few interdictions that I've been trying are like, the range is weird, the the winning scale, that last one was really weird. I know I didn't, like, stay on point the entire time, but still, I mean, I wasn't doing bad on it, and it was like, I couldn't get the thing past three bars. And I've inter I've even interdicted that kind of ship before, it's not like, oh, well, the mass is too, too much, the, there's too much of a weight difference, or no. I've grabbed that kind of the type nines before, and it was fine. Okay. Oh no! Do not want to. Do not want the anaconda federal security. Nope. 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 That was a lot of fed. I'm fed up. <laughs> Let's see if I can pull this off. Oh! That was so close to being a nice arc. That would have been perfect. Seriously? Can you speed up, please, so that I can get behind you? Or are you just gonna go really slow? Oh, he's practically parked. That's the problem. Okay, that's what's going on. Gosh, why can I not find one of these ships preferably before they're already at a station? That would be awesome. It's like every every one of these transport ships I find, they're already, like, docking. Alright. Nope. Nope. And this is probably not... Oh yeah, it is! Wow! That's new. And I can't interdict him from here. What kind of sense does this make? Oh, that might be a better option. Since, <laughs> since it doesn't actually discriminate by type... Probably a better- oh, of course, that's not one. Nope. Wow. Two transports in a row that weren't- three! Three in a row that were not Kumo Crew. That's- well, that's just weird. Alright, maybe I'll let him get far enough away that it'll actually let me interdict him now. And I won't, I won't, uh, I won't say I'm not doing anything wrong, because I very well could be. I get that a lot sometimes where, you know, 
you're like, what is wrong with this? And then you read a comment where it's like, dude, you screwed this up. Oh, right. I knew that. So, I won't say that I'm maybe not messing something up, but I feel like I'm doing everything the same way that I normally do, but it usually works a lot better. Alright, do we have any other kinds of ships in the area? Because I don't really feel like going all the way after this guy. There's an adder. Let's try him. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is an episode of false advertisement. Where, like, every ship that's supposed to be a transport is not. And then I get a federal ship that's actually a pirate crew transport. This makes no sense. Yeah, literally, there was like four... What, four of those? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I really do kind of feel like the interdiction system is kind of weird. I don't know how, every, you know how anyone else feels about that. There might be a science to it as to why it makes sense, but it feels very wobbly to me. Like, Not necessarily that it needs to be any easier. It just feels too chaotic to me where you have like no idea which way is up. That's just me. I've never really cared for the interdiction system. This guy's just booking. Like, gone. Sidewinder, eh. Yeah, this is like the only one, and he's blowing the doors off over here. Like, I can't even catch up to this guy. Come on. Dang, man. Yeah, I'm breaking off from that. That's gonna take forever. to get back more center center system. Okay. There. You're starting to clear out. So I should be getting some more targets in here in a second. Still picking up that explorer. It's weird. That must mean he's heading this way. Let's see what he is. I doubt. I doubt that it'll be a transport. But then again, the type transport should. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. At least he's coming this way, though. I can meet him halfway. Let's go ahead and speed up so our top speed is. Up. Oops. Dang it. Oop. Did it again. Yeah. Kind of in a bit of a derpy mood. Sorry about that. Okay, so somewhere around 150 is where I can... Interdict people. And it seems like holding the button will actually work. Let's test that theory. I'm just holding the button now. I'm not actually spamming it. Yep. So holding the button down actually works. You don't really have to spam it, which I've been doing. See, like this. I'm, I'm like, right on point for the most part. I feel like this should be going down a lot faster. Or up, I guess. Come on, thank you. All right. So we have the scanner. Yeah, it does say hatchbreaker out of ammo. So I guess I can't really try that when I don't have any ammo for it. 
And I don't really want to land here and rearm it because, well, I'm wanted now. Marked slaves. So, okay, so now that we have a cargo scanner, we can check that now. So that's how that works, I guess. Hey, where are you going? Get back here. I didn't tell you to go anywhere. That's what they need. They need a tractor beam. Gosh, could you imagine the fun somebody could have with a tractor beam? Actually, you know what? Let's put... Three and three. I don't really need my shields right now. Oh, he's dropping mines. Woo! I thought he was dropping his cargo. I was like, oh, sweet. Nope. Power plant. There we go. Oh, really? Let's go, dude. Oh. <laughs> if you're gonna fight, I probably should put more points into my shields, I guess. Oh, come on. I hate these. How do you like that? I like them apples. Did not realize how close I was to that guy. I almost ran right into him. Goodbye. Boom. Target destroyed. Frameship drive charging. Four, three, All right. Two, one. Engage. Let's see. I want to at least get one more. I know we're getting a little long on time. Not for our normal episodes, just time into the episode. So I'd like to get at least one. Um, I may not keep this episode super long, just because um, it is kind of late for me. And I, truth be told, pretty much straight forgot about having to... Oh, I don't like that at all. That anaconda just turned, like, right towards me. Um. But yeah, I don't... Um, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm pretty tired. Because this snuck up on me and I totally forgot about it. So... Ooh, this is a good one. If I can get this one, I'll probably wrap things up here for this one. Because this is a three. Let me see if I can slow down. Maybe that makes a difference if they're... Like, I'm trying to figure out if they're moving slower or are affected by gravity or something. If maybe that has something to factor into this. I mean... You gotta be kidding me. Now, if this is that anaconda, I could totally see failing this because he does have a bigger ship. Oh, that's cool. The other one dropped out, so I don't have that target anymore. Great. So even if I do win this, still sucks. I lost my target. Oh, wait. Maybe? Nope. That's Torval. Aha! Sew it down. Sort of. I don't want to slow it down too much just because it takes too long to... Ah! So there is a speed. You have to be close to their speed. Aha! Uh -huh. I see. We're getting the hang of this. I am learning. I'm learning how to hijack people. This is <laughs> this is Grand Theft Elite. <laughs> I am learning how to, how to ship jack. Instead of carjacking. I don't know. It was the best I could come up with off the fly. It sounded horrible. As soon as I said it, I'm like, that sounds terrible. It's like the worst. Grand Theft Elite doesn't sound bad, though, so we'll go with that one. <laughs> uh. Oh, one thing, though. No, I'm out of ammo. I forgot. I was going to say I could try targeting the uh, cargo rack 
and or hatch and seeing if I can fire the limpet. But if I'm out of, actually out of ammo, it won't really matter, will it? Wait, this one isn't a wing. Why did I think this one was a wing? I think it's because the other one that was a wing was an adder, and I think I got confused. What is he shooting at me? Yeah. Yeah. Wow! There we go. I was gonna say, is he still firing chaff? Frame shift charge, that's cute. Just in case. Boom. What is this thing? Are these mines? Or did he drop stuff? Stop. I do hate that so much when you end up just spinning in circles around something. It's very annoying. Must be really close to him or something. Hmm. I wonder if it's actually worth it. There's only two. Yeah. I'm already wanted in this system. I don't really want to risk getting shot down. <laughs> All right. Now the question is: Should I try and land? at this place, which isn't that far away, or should I actually jump to another system and land there? Let's see what's around here. Okay, that's a fed. This one doesn't have any system data, that makes me nervous. Okay, one station, and I'm not wanted there, so... That's something that's cool now, is if you actually will highlight, um... The, sis or the station inside the system view, it'll actually tell you if you're wanted by that faction that owns that station or not, which is really helpful. I find it helpful anyway. Um, so I'm gonna head over here and dock, refuel, maybe buy some limpets, all that stuff. Um, but I think we're gonna wrap things up for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.